This is Alpha Omega Wizard Slayer. Today is August 23rd, the 21st year of 2000, plus or minus a few billion years. That being said, they passed the FDA, just passed the uh, icky sticky genocide fluids. So now's a better time than ever to get your kids out of the effing schools because they're going to be snare trapped in there down the road. I guarantee it because it's in the manual, but whatever. Summary of outline. This is for Illinois only at this point. And I'll show you a chart real quick. Hang on. If you look here. Are you looking for a quick oh, hang on. They got a video, but whatever. How to homeschool in Illinois. Basically, Illinois has no real laws. So you could be sending your kid to a private school, let's call it. Like Wag Chicago School, let's say, if you were making shit up. And they're covered. Now, if you want them to get a degree, they got to have certain standardized tests down the road. However, let's read here. Illinois, your homeschool will be tested or treated as a private school. This is from the Illinois site, by the way. It's a government site. You do not have to register your home-based private school with the Illinois State Board of Education, nor are you required to obtain state recognition of your home-based private school. In fact, you cannot get your private school registered or recognized. The law does not allow it. Homeschooling under private school statute. To homeschool, you will need the following to follow these guidelines. Number one, Teach your child required subjects. Illinois requires you to provide an adequate course of instruction to your child covering the following branches of education, language arts, math, biolog biological and physical science, social science, fine art, physical development. No, they don't say nothing about how to live, how to get food, how to like do electric, you know, electricity, how to fix things, you know, none of the stuff you really need in the world, but whatever, we can cover that. The State Board of Education treats biological and physical science as one combined branch, etc. Two, instructions must be in English, no problem. Three, know what to call your homeschool program. That'll be important because you're going to have people asking you questions. HSLDA recommends that you call your homeschool a private school. There you go. When you deal with government officials, which is going to be happening soon. Important because they get money for this. Important exception. You should identify your program as a homeschool if you are five filling out an, a FAFSA, et cetera, for college, whatever. So that being said, we'll go back to here. Back to the summary. Uh, subjects according to Illinois Annotated Code Section 27-22, Illinois Law. The branches of education are language arts, et cetera. We just said that. Uh, academic requirements, I missed that. None other than none. No academic requirements other than you must teach those branches of education to, ch uh, to children. Of corresponding age, which is like six to seventeen years old, etc. Note: Students using American Sign Language are considered being taught in English. That's interesting. <laughs> they should know that, anyways. Children for whom English is a second language, whatever. Note: uh, Compulsory attendance. Compulsory attendance begins in the fall for a child who has turned six by September first and continues until the child turns seventeen. I just said that. Uh, attendance. Attendance does not mean sitting at a desk for five hours. Homeschooling, by its very nature, incorporates a wide variety of experiences. Uh, there are no mandated numbers, uh, hours per day, etc. Teacher certification. Only public school teachers must be certified. So no certification for the teacher. Number, let's see, standardized testing. Not required by statute. State recognition of your program, etc. Not required. So get your kids out of school. There's solutions to all these problems. We just got to think. This is WAG Chicago or Alpha <laughs> Alpha <in> America. <laughs> Alpha Omega, Wizard Slayers, have a great day, everybody. F these uh, uh, deciders. Or not.